So again, same as before, printing ABS using hips as a support material, sliced in Cura. Um, this time we've gone for zero spacing in Z and in X and Y. And the support material is just peeling off, isn't it? Look at that. Well, this is just the, the ooze shield, which isn't actually... It's got a significant amount of space between the, uh, the print itself and the, the object. The real test will be when we actually get to try and remove this support material, which is hips, from this ABS part that's up here, which is what I'm about to do. So let's do a little bit of flex. We've printed the support material with a rather more uh, dense... Oh, there we go. That's... yeah, look at that. That's... We'll just you see that gap there? Just peels right oh, off. Oh wow, that's worked well. Let's have a look at the surface finish on the underside. Oh, that's perfect. That is yeah, so that's better literally. than we were seeing before. Yeah, that is... You almost would not think that that is an underside layer that's had support on it. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There you go. That's yeah. good. And it's really, really good. Now we've got some in here. It'll be interesting to see how removing this goes. So just, just show the way it was printed first. So yes, it printed was printed like, like so. Um, as a bit of an academic exercise to just to see what, you know, the support, what kind of finish we could get underneath here. That's, uh, that's <laughs> come off quite nicely. We've got some small remaining bits here. That's just peeled off. It's just a fingernail. Yeah, that's coming off nicely. Some very small bits. Now they're really just, just fingernail to remove that with no issues whatsoever. <laughs> 